Our verse today is John chapter 17, verse 9. I am praying for them. I am not praying for the world, but for those whom you have given me, for they are yours. John chapter 17 is generally called the priestly prayer of Jesus. In this prayer, Jesus prays specifically for his disciples. I will encourage you to read the entire chapter. In our verse, Jesus is specific for whom he is praying. I am praying for them. He is praying for his disciples. In this prayer, Jesus also prays for his future disciples, those who will come to believe through the present disciples. Look at John chapter 17, verse 20. My interest is specificity and clarity of intention when we pray. Sometimes I get requests like, Father, please pray for me. Yes, I can generally pray for God to bless you or for a general intention. But it is essential to mention a particular intention for which you want prayer. Jesus says, What father among you, if his son asks for fish, will instead of a fish give him a serpent? Luke 11.11 11, or Matthew 7.7-10 7 In other words, ask precisely for what you want. It is like a child who sustains an injury on the football pitch but hides it from the parents. He is in pain and tells the parents he has a headache, whereas the wound is covered up. Yes, the headache may be there because of the wound. Until that wound heals, the child might continue to suffer headaches. So the child needs to come out and let the parents treat the wound. It may be painful, but that will bring about lasting healing. So come out exactly what you want, where the pain is. In the same way, we cannot come to God not disclosing what we want from Him, what we want Him to do for us. Specificity in prayer helps one to focus on precisely what one is asking God to do. Jesus says, I am praying for them. I am not praying for the world. Jesus will pray for the world at another time. He prayed for his crucifiers, but in this instance, the intention is for his father to protect his disciples. Jesus wants his father to protect his disciples from the evil one, Satan, and also from the world. There is clarity in this prayer. He is praying for those that his father has given to him. He does not want to lose any of them. So when you pray, be focused and ask what you want God to do for you. Let the intention be clear. Yes, God already knows what you need, but Jesus said, ask. Matthew 6, 8. Why was Jesus praying for the disciples? The Father has put them under his care. We, in turn, must learn to pray for those under our care and protect them also from the evil ones. Lord, grant the desires and intentions of your children who turn to you today with their requests. Amen. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of the day.